Now to Plano and a four-year fight between the owner of a preschool and the city, and it's all over eminent domain. The city would like to take some land and build a bike trail, but the owners say that their property rights are at stake. Jack Fink with the exclusive story. I want to stand up for what is right. Effie Safi and her family say they've been in the fight of their lives to protect the Montessori Children's House daycare and preschool, which has been their dream ever since opening 17 years ago. It's very sad to see this is happening. Plano wants to put in a hike and bike trail. Its preferred option is to take two easements on the school's property near Hedgecoke's Road and Georgetown Drive. The city says it's the cheapest of three options, which also include clearing this wooded area or having the trail on Georgetown. But Safi says losing the easements would make it impossible for her to expand. Every square feet of this land is going to be used for me. She worries the bike trail will cause her to lose customers who are concerned about their children's safety and ultimately force her to close. The safety issue is a concern. A mediator initially recommended the city pay Safi more than $28,000 for the easements. But Safi appealed, saying her losses would amount to nearly $2 million when considering her school's worth. The city and Safi blame each other for not settling the case. We do everything we can to try to come to an agreement with property owners. Safi and her supporters don't see it that way. Hey, we're supposed to be the all American city. And it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking. To end the impasse, the SAFI submitted thousands of signatures to the city one week ago as part of an initiative petition. That is the last chance. It's a procedure allowing residents to propose ordinances. The SAFI's ordinance would force council members to either withdraw their case or allow voters to decide in a special election November 2nd. It's, it's bigger than us. It's, it's not just about us, although we hope that. We, we get our, um, our justice. The narrative that the big bad city of Plato is, is, is trampling over citizens, um, I think is patently false. But the legal costs are adding up, turning what was once the cheapest option into one that may be the most expensive. The city says it spent about $250,000 to hire outside attorneys. A special election would cost the city $180,000. And the city may have to pay the SAFI's legal fees, which she says have surpassed $200,000. SAFI says her fight has caused a lot of heartache, but it is too important to give up. I want to set up an example for my students, for the members of the community, for larger community. The city council will meet Tuesday evening to decide if they want to move forward with a special election. We will keep you updated. Doug? We'll talk again next week then. Jack, thank you.